So in this problem, we're told a stone is dropped from the top of a cliff. It is seen to hit the ground below at 3.75 seconds. How high is the cliff? So we're, this is going to be like a free fall problem or like dropping something problem. So we're going to use the kinematic equations. But the difference from what you've been doing before is that acceleration when you drop something because of the force of gravity is going to be constant. And it's going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So you're going to have to memorize this. Just know that if you're dropping something, you have like a free fall problem, it's going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So what you got to memorize, you got to know that. But uh, let's continue with the problem. So we're also given 3.75 seconds. So we have this cliff here, stone falls, uh, and it hits the ground below after 3.75 seconds. So we're trying to find this distance here. Um, so yeah, so time, right? Time variable is going to be 3.75 seconds. And then what you're also going to want to do is V sub zero, which is your initial velocity, right? Since we're dropping something, right when it starts, it doesn't have any velocity, right? Because the, the velocity is going to increase with uh, the acceleration, right? So right when it starts, it's zero. So V sub zero is going to be zero. So V sub zero is zero meters per second. And then with all these, we can solve for delta. And then in this case, since you're dropping something from a cliff, right? You can think about like a Y and an X axis. It's falling down this way. So it's going to be the change in the Y. It doesn't really matter which one you use. You could write change in X, but if you just want to be correct, just write it as delta Y. So we're trying to find delta Y. And so this is, this is written in delta X, but just imagine it's delta Y. And so which equation do we want to use? Well, we're given A, given T and V sub zero, and we're trying to find delta Y, but it's written as delta X. And so if you look at these equations, um, this one's going to line up, right? We have all the variables. So we're going to use this equation and we're going to plug everything in to solve for delta y. So let's go ahead and do that. So delta y equals v sub 0, which is 0, times t, which is 3.75, which is just going to become 0. So I'm going to write it as 0, plus 1 half times a. So a is minus 9.8 meters per second times time squared. So 3.75 squared. Uh, there we go. And so now we can just solve, right? So 3.75 squared is going to be 14.0625. And then you're going to multiply one half times minus 9.8 is uh, just minus 4.9. And so minus 4.9 times 14 point whatever is going to give you minus 68. Point nine zero six two five, and so keep in mind this is change in y right and so this is just going to be meters right so minus 68.9 meters or whatever and then you can round i'm going to round to the whole number so if you go ahead and round this it's going to be about minus 69 meters and so how high is the cliff well uh this is minus right so if you think about it it's going negative so like it falls down minus 69 meters so if it falls down that much uh the height of the cliff is going to be 69 meters. So if you ever get a negative, it's going to be positive, right? Because we know in the real world, distance can't be negative, right? Because there can't be a negative distance. It doesn't make sense. So it's going to be a positive number. So this answer is going to be 69 meters.